Justin here. Today I'm at the Ekimi Prefectural Science Museum and they have a super cool exhibit about dinosaurs so I want to go check that out and all the other little cool science things they have. Alright, before we head inside don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's go! This museum was opened in 1994. Each building in the complex was given a different shape for a more modern feel. And I'm currently on the third floor, which is the natural sciences and industrials area, with all kinds of interactive exhibits for children and adults alike. I said, go! <laughs> oh, 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 win it! Go win it! Win it! Uh, stomach ache right here, and this would have been really helpful to explain where my stomach, stomach ache was. <laughs> they have English titles, but most of the explanations are written in Japanese. So definitely brush up on your scientific kanji if you want to be able to read the explanations. They even have some alcohol for you because of the whole pandemic situation. That's nice. <laughs> Is this what it looks like to be tall? Something feels wrong about this. Something feels wrong. Yeah, I'm so heavy. Why am I so heavy? <laughs> I need to cut back on the karage. <laughs> Now I'm in the industrials area of the third floor, which is just race cars, steamboats, trains, and the like. This is actually a Japanese guy who was working with dynamite, so he's kind of off sitting by himself just because of how unpredictable it is. So I made my way up to the fourth floor, and here is the, the space area, as well as in the other room, there's dinosaurs and animals from the Ice Age, so let's take a look. This looks so cool. You have a turtle sitting on a snake, and the snake is eating itself. So this is actually how people in India viewed space in the world a long time ago. Actually, really cool and like the main event of this museum because once every 15 minutes they'll actually move and screech like real dinosaurs, which is really cool. And sometimes it scares the kids, and you'll see kids crying. Next up is the Ice Age, and the way they set up this floor is kind of cool because they set it up to where you start at dinosaurs, work your way through Ice Age until modern animals, so you can kind of see how life has changed. So one thing I really don't get about museums and the way they translate in the English is they use the scientific names. So this, that would normally just be a flamingo, is now a horn 
These birds of Ahime and other modern animals are the last stop in the museum, completing our tour of time from the Jurassic Age to modern day. That's all for the video today. I really enjoyed the dinosaur exhibit at this museum. So please let me know down in the comments below what your favorite part of the museum was. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Alright, see you next time.